Hey guys, Ben here from AdCoach, and in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what a DMP is, or a data management platform. This video is taken from my Introduction to Programmatic Advertising class, which can be found on adcoach.co and using the link in the description. For more free content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about data and targeting and DMPs. A DMP is a data management platform. Essentially, it is a tool that allows advertisers and tech companies to collect data on their users and then be able to retarget that user in a meaningful way. So it could be that a tech company or an advertiser has their own internal DMP with their own first party data and they use that to identify who to target and who to advertise to or they could use a third party. Now these third party ones are uh, more than just these, but these are among the largest Axiom, Blue Kai, and Exalate, and uh, they are very valuable. So Blue Kai was acquired by Oracle, Exalate was acquired by Nielsen, and most recently Axiom was acquired by IPG for $2.3 billion. Axiom claims to have data on about 2.2 billion users, so essentially IPG bought them for about a dollar a user, which if you ask me is a pretty good deal. Now, how would advertisers actually use this data to inform a buy? Well, let's go take a look at that RTV process again, but kind of break it down in a different way. So we've got our publisher side and we've got our advertiser side, our supply side and our demand side. In the middle is our DMP with user data on the supply publisher side, we've got our app words with friends. On the advertiser side, we've got Nike. Now, in a basic situation, the DSP could send a request to the exchange saying, we're looking to buy gaming apps and we're looking to buy sports apps on behalf of my client, Nike. The SSP that's working with words with friends may say, we are working with a gaming app. And if that's all that the advertiser is looking for, then that's all they need. And the transaction is complete, the ad is sold and filled. Now, when you start to use data, it looks a little bit different. Instead of the DSP going directly to the exchange, they'll first work with their DMP. And they'll say, I'm looking to target maybe a male, 18 to 34, located in California, household income of $75,000 or more. That DMP will then look through their entire data set and say, who do I have that matches that requirement? Once they find it, they'll spit it out in a device ID or unique advertiser ID fashion and say, okay, now we're going to go to the exchange. And if we see a device that matches what we've identified as a user, then we'll look to buy it. So now that request from the SSP includes things like unique advertiser ID, which as we can see, actually matches the one that the DMP has identified. And we'll look at the lat long data. And if you look up this lat long, you'll see it is for the Staples Center in Los Angeles, which means this user is located in California. So now they've met all the requirements needed and Nike will complete the purchase. Obviously, being that this is a more targeted user, it is a more valuable user to Nike. Therefore, they're going to pay a fee to get that level of data included with their buy. But again, if it's a more valuable user, that fee is worth it. 